Hello Virgo, welcome to your you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on between you and your person and how you feel about each other, the energies between you. Let's jump right into your reading. So for Virgo, Spirit, Angels, Guides, what messages or guidance do you have for Virgo regarding the person you're currently thinking about or connecting with? For Need to know for Virgo. Okay. What's going on for Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? Okay, so I'm going to get three cards for what's currently happening in your connection. Wow, starting off with the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Wow, okay, great energy. Then I'm going to do two cards for your energy here. Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and two cards for your person. Nine of Pentacles and the Devil Capricorn energy. Okay, overall energy is a Seven of Wands. So someone standing firm, fighting back, defending their stance, um, having courage to face whatever obstacle is in front of them resistance defiance etc 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 so something i feel is putting someone on edge i don't know if it's you or your person because i just started this reading we're going to find out but i feel like there's either something that someone wants to fight for or against and we're going to find out what that is because that's the overall energy so it's pretty important let's get some oracle cards here can we get some insight the overall energy for Virgo regarding this other person. What's the overall energy for Virgo? March. Let's see. Okay. Strong bonds and abundance. Okay. Family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Bottom of the deck coming together. Destiny has brought you together. So I believe there's some sort of a strong attachment that you already have with someone. This could be someone that you already have had a romantic relationship with, or it could be that um, there's someone in your past life, like a past life soulmate or something like that, that you're being reunited with or you have an attachment to. Okay, so let me get seller guidance. What else for Virgo? That's what we need to know. Release the past, number 44. Interesting. What else? What else for Virgo? Be patient, number one. Bottom of the deck, not now. So there's something that perhaps someone's waiting for and it's just not meant to happen right now. So they're being encouraged to be patient. Again, this could be you or your person. But this is very interesting to me because we have the Wheel of Fortune and then we have released the past. Hmm. You have the Five of Cups. Your person has the Devil. So the past is important here in some way, at least on your end here. So we'll see what, what this is all about. Okay, so let's start with this Wheel of Fortune. What can you tell me about this Wheel of Fortune? Wow, the Knight of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about momentum, moving things forward, fate, luck on your side. So I feel there's a message coming in for you or someone's delivering a message that moves things forward or it causes like a chain reaction. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune? What do we need to know about this Wheel of Fortune? The moon, Pisces energy. And the Ten of Wands. 
So something, there has been some sort of baggage or weight on, uh, on your side, your person's side or in this connection. I feel like some somebody wants to talk about this. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Now, Virgo, keep in mind, not every reading will resonate. So make sure you check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate for you. Seven of Cups. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords. Four of Cups. Uh, Pentacles, sorry. Four of Pentacles. Well, I'm not going to take this, but I'm going to look at him. Four of Wands, Six of Swords, the Tower, Four of Swords. Okay, so something has definitely happened. I'm speaking to a Virgo where a tower is looming or has happened. Okay, hold on. Can I have one more? This could be some sort of revelation. The tower with the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the, the Knight of Swords. What do we need to know? About the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is some sort of information, conversation, truth that I feel someone was holding back. I think this is connected. This Knight of Swords is connected with this Wheel of Fortune and this Knight of Cups. Someone could have waited to express themselves because they didn't know what was the best option or choice, the best way to express themselves. With the Ten of Wands here and the the Moon, it's almost like in the Knight of Cups, like maybe they were holding their feelings back for a long time because they weren't sure. They had doubts or fears. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? About the Queen of Cups. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups. So someone wants love. They're attracted, motivated, especially the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This moves quickly. So we have a lot of messengers here in your connection. The Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. We have three tens on the board. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. So something is coming to some sort of completion here. Things are stacking up to the point where now there's going to be what I feel is a huge shift in this connection with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower that wanted to show up. Okay, let me get a Romance Angel for your connection here. Can you give me some more insight into this connection with between sorry between Virgo and this other person get some insight into this connection between Virgo and this other person what do we need to know what do we need to know about the connection between Virgo and this other person This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Bottom of the deck, children. Your love life is being affected by children. So this is that strong bonds energy. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. So I feel that this Wheel of Fortune, this um, Knight of Cups, there could already be someone in your midst, Virgo that is the person for you. So let me look down at your energies separately here. Can we get some insight please into the energy between Virgo and this other person? What do we need to know? About the energies between Virgo and now Virgo I have you on one side your person on the other feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you tell me about Virgo's energy I made a mistake 
So you have the five of cups. So you might think be thinking that you've made a mistake somewhere down the line when it comes to love or this particular person. Tell me about the person Virgo is dealing with or will be dealing with. What do you mean about this other person? I'm taking action. Okay, so I feel like they're the Knight of Wands. They have something that they want or desire. I have a goal in mind here. Bottom of the deck, I'll be messaging you. I do feel they have something to say. So let's break down your energy. Well, actually, let me get a kipper for both of you. I get some more insight into the energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Privileged lady. So that this Nine of Pentacles, which for me as a reader, the Nine of Pentacles is very Virgo energy. Um, I feel like you are admired or you have someone you admire, Virgo. I think you're thinking about this person with the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Like you are maybe thinking about a mistake you made with this person or thinking back on this particular person that you admire. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with. What are their energies? Lovers, yeah. There's there's definitely a strong partnership here. It could even be a soulmate partnership between you and this person. And you've known each other before. This could be the one. I mean, it's showing up. So let's get some clarity between you and this person. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. What's this about for Virgo? The Hangman. The Strength card. Leo Energy and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups. Oh yeah, you definitely have someone in mind, Virgo. And you don't know about the future with this person. Page of Wands, King of Cups. Yeah, there's love here. There's emotions tied to a particular person. But I also get the sense that you have not made a move towards this person. You thinking about it. I feel like the past holds you back, but I'm not sure why. Now this release the past could be that one of you needs to release the past in order to go, to move forward. Maybe you already had a past with this person, but it doesn't need to be your future. Maybe the past needs to be left in the past here. Because I feel like the past is holding one of you back. And it could be the past that you have with each other. It could be, you know, maybe you made some sort of mistake in your past that's affecting your present with this particular person. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like a lot of you need the courage to step forward, to move forward, to make a move and in the meantime, you're just thinking about this person. Tell me about, let me move this up so you can actually see. It. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil Capricorn energy. Well, these two cards are complete opposites. The Devil is all about restriction, being bound, attachments. And the Nine of Pentacles is about being free, independent, um, secure. The devil could also symbolize that someone is very um, interested, obsessed, desiring someone. You know, there's lust, temptation with the devil. So let's see what the heck this is about. Tell me about the nine of pentacles and the devil. What do we need to know? Queen of swords. The magician. Five of wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this person has something to say. Um, I think they're manifesting this conversation or wanting to have a conversation with you. Let's see. Why is the Magician here? There could be a conflict. If this person were to come forward... There might be a conflict or there was a conflict between you and this person that this person wants to talk about. Tell me about the magician. 
what does this person want? The high priestess. Okay, tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, this is about communicating. And look, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you both have a lot to say to each other. You both need to open up to each other. You're both thinking about it, but I don't think either of you are making the first move. I think this person in the past also holds them back because they know they have to talk about the past to move forward and that's easier said than done. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Four of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Complete opposites here also with the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords. There's the Knight of Swords, yeah. So it's it's almost like this person goes back and forth between it's almost like they don't they, they want to be careful about what they say. But or how quickly they should say it, I guess. Because the Four of Swords is not moving. And the Knight of Swords is flying. So it could be that this person's kind of debating whether they should talk to you, how quickly that might happen. Here's the Six of Swords and Justice at the bottom of the deck. Hoping, I feel, to move towards a more balanced, fair, peaceful connection. Um, but that, again, the Six of Swords is about leaving the past behind. So I don't know if this person, I, again, it's going to I'm it's gonna be different for all of you because I'm speaking to a collective. Um, either you individually, you or this other person needs to leave something in your past behind in order to be together. Or both of you collectively need to leave the past that you had together in the past and move on. I feel like this person is scared of making that depart or making this move. Maybe it'll cause drama with the five of wands or maybe they are trying to work really hard on, on being sure that they're going to be successful at the end of all of this. Like, will all of my efforts be worth it? You know, this departure is not easy. So if I do go through with it, is it going to be okay when it, when it's all said and done? But I think that the first thing that needs to happen here is communication because it just keeps coming up. It's like, it's like this person's making, taking some sort of action. And I feel like it might be this Knight of Swords. Um, the Magician is with the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords is here. So I think that this person's thinking about communicating with you, sending you a message. And I feel like that's the start. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time because you have be patient and releasing the past is not easy. This Six of Swords, I feel like it's gonna take some time making official decisions with justice, legal matters, perhaps official institutions. There's the King of Pentacles and the Fool. So the King of Pentacles doesn't rush. The King of Pentacles takes his time and tries to do things the right way. I think you and this person were meant to be together and something happened that took you down two different paths, Virgo. And now it's like you're both thinking about what it would take to be together. So I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to know what's next for you and this person. And also what is this person's true intentions towards you? What do we need to know about their next possible actions towards you? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.